Okay, so normal business uh, practice, right, is that we do transfer money between our accounts. Uh, we have a savings account. When our normal operating cash is running low, we need to transfer out of our savings into our operating account. And then when our operating account gets back up, then we transfer money from our operating account back to our savings account, right? So we're not transferring money to an outside source. It's transferring money between our own accounts, okay? And these are business accounts, not transferring money to the owner's account. <laughs> okay, so how do we transfer funds? So we can come up here under banking and we have transfer funds. Imagine that. <laughs> we pick the date. Again, I always recommend using this tab field. Okay, date, transfer from account. All right, and notice that they do allow you to transfer from other accounts. You can transfer from the credit card to your bank account, bank account to credit card, right? Other current liabilities. Why do they do that? Because you may be transferring from your checking account, let's say. Ooh, I have some issues there on my checking account. I may be transferring from my checking account to my loan account as an example. And that's still kind of a transfer, right? It's an internal um, it's an internal transaction transferring from one of our accounts to another. Or maybe from our loan account to our checking account because notice my account balance is kind of low. Okay, but for now I'm just going to transfer from my checking account to my savings. Or probably best serve the other way around since one's so negative. Um, so transfer funds from, that means the cash currently, right now, is in your savings account. Transfer funds to my checking account, right? And then I have to put in here how much I want to transfer. So let's do $110,000. Now these account balances here, right? So these are my account balances um, as of today. So if I go look at my chart of accounts, right? You can see similar balances right there. I can put a memo in here, you know, payroll transfer or something like that, transferring for payroll, whatever it is. Then, um, now notice it didn't take me through the class. Oh, there it did. I just skipped over it. There it goes. So class, on the class side here though, the one thing that I, I've had questions on in the past is that if you wanted to associate a class with each account. So I've had that question before because people are transferring, they're trying to transfer funds from intercompany accounts as an example. And they want to keep track of each line as a different line item or a different class. Okay, so if I say this, and let's go pull it up here, and I can look at my journal, right? I can attach documents in here also attach documents pretty much everywhere in QuickBooks. So journal here, notice that the class, it only associates with one side of the transaction. So that can potentially be a problem for people who are trying to classify their balance sheet. So transferring funds works. If you're using classes, then the alternative to transferring funds is essentially just writing a check because it's still the same type of transaction, right? We're saying we're transferring from the company checking account we're transferring to the savings account, right? And I'll just do it for $200. Now up top here, I can say this is for overhead and then down below here, this class is for owner's labor or something, whatever it is. Now, if I save this transaction behind the scenes, right? If I click on reports and click on journal, Behind the scenes, the same thing's still happening, right? I'm still going from moving cash from one account to the other, but notice that I can associate a class at both lines. So that's just something you want to be aware of. That's transferring funds.